you wake up, skip breakfast, and head straight to the gym. Sound familiar? It's a common belief that exercising on an empty stomach maximizes fat burn. The idea is alluring. Tap into those fat reserves and accelerate your weight loss journey. But is there scientific truth to this popular fitness approach? Let's separate fact from fiction and explore the science behind fasted workouts. Throughout this exploration, we'll delve into the physiological processes at play, examine the potential benefits and drawbacks, and ultimately empower you to make informed decisions about your fitness routine. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. To understand how fasted exercise impacts your body, we need to look at our primary energy sources, carbohydrates and fats. These two macronutrients play crucial roles in fueling our workouts and overall physical performance. Carbohydrates, stored as glycogen in our muscles and liver, are our body's go-to fuel source during exercise. Glycogen is a readily available form of energy that our muscles can quickly access, making it ideal for high-intensity activities. When we eat, our bodies break down carbohydrates into glucose, which is readily used for energy. This glucose circulates in our bloodstream and is either used immediately or stored as glycogen for later use. When we fast, glycogen stores deplete, signaling our body to tap into alternative energy sources. Enter fat. This shift in energy source is a natural response to ensure that our body continues to function efficiently even when immediate energy from food is not available. When glycogen levels are low, our body turns to stored fat, breaking it down into fatty acids that can be used as fuel. This process is particularly beneficial for endurance activities, where sustained energy release is crucial. This metabolic process, known as lipolysis, is at the heart of the fasted workout theory. Lipolysis involves the breakdown of fats into fatty acids and glycerol, which are then used to produce energy. The idea is that by exercising in a fasted state, with lower glycogen stores, we encourage our body to burn more fat for energy. This can potentially enhance fat loss and improve metabolic flexibility, allowing the body to switch more efficiently between different energy sources. Additionally, fasted exercise has been linked to improved insulin sensitivity, which can help in better blood sugar management and overall metabolic health. This makes it a popular choice for those looking to optimize their body's ability to handle glucose. However, it's important to note that individual responses to fasted exercise can vary. Some people may experience decreased performance or feel lightheaded while others may thrive. It's crucial to listen to your body and adjust your routine accordingly. A balanced approach, combining both fasted and fed workouts, might be the best strategy for most people. This way, you can enjoy the benefits of both methods while minimizing potential downsides. Always consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your exercise routine. There is some evidence to suggest that fasted exercise, particularly low-intensity cardio, can lead to a slight increase in fat oxidation. Studies have shown that fasted cardio can increase the activity of enzymes involved in fat breakdown, potentially leading to greater fat utilization during exercise. Imagine this, you wake up and go for a light jog. Your body, with depleted glycogen stores from the overnight fast, taps into fat reserves to fuel your workout. In this scenario, strategically incorporating fasted, low-intensity cardio might offer a modest advantage in promoting fat loss. However, it's crucial to remember that this is just one piece of the puzzle. While fasted cardio might offer a slight edge in fat oxidation, it's crucial to consider its impact on performance and muscle mass, especially for high-intensity workouts or strength training. Remember, our bodies primarily rely on carbohydrates for energy during intense exercise. When glycogen stores are low, our ability to perform at our peak can be compromised. Think about it. You're attempting a heavy lifting session on an empty stomach. Your body, lacking readily available carbohydrates, struggles to generate the power and endurance needed. This can lead to reduced performance, increased fatigue, and even muscle breakdown as your body tries to compensate for the lack of energy. Section 5. Real Talk, Experiences and Individual Responses In this section, we delve into the diverse experiences people have with fasted exercise and how individual responses can vary widely. The science of fasted exercise is complex, and individual responses vary greatly. This complexity arises from the interplay of various physiological factors that influence how our bodies react when we exercise without prior food intake. 
Some people thrive on fasted workouts, reporting increased energy levels and improved fat loss. For these individuals, exercising on an empty stomach can lead to enhanced performance and better results in terms of body composition. Others experience dizziness, fatigue, and poor performance. These adverse effects can be discouraging and may hinder their ability to maintain a consistent workout routine. Factors such as age, fitness level, workout intensity, and overall diet play significant roles in how our bodies respond. Additionally, genetic predispositions and metabolic rates can further influence these outcomes. Let's look at two individuals. Sarah, a marathon runner, finds that fasted morning runs improve her endurance and fat burning. She feels more focused and lighter, which helps her maintain a steady pace over long distances. Conversely, John, a weightlifter, experiences significant fatigue and reduced strength during fasted workouts. His performance drops and he struggles to lift his usual weights, which affects his overall progress. These contrasting experiences highlight the importance of individual experimentation and listening to your body's cues. It's crucial to pay attention to how your body feels and adjust your approach accordingly. Whether you thrive or struggle with fasted exercise, understanding your unique response can help you optimize your fitness journey. Section 6. Listen to your body, finding what works best for you. In this section we will explore the importance of tuning into your body's signals and how to tailor your exercise routine to meet your unique needs. So, should you exercise on an empty stomach? This is a common question that many fitness enthusiasts and athletes ponder. The answer, like many things in health and fitness, is not one size fits all. Each person's body responds differently to various conditions and stimuli. The key is to listen to your body and find what works best for you. This means paying close attention to how your body reacts to different types of exercise and nutritional states. Pay attention to how you feel during and after your workouts. Are you energized or do you feel drained? Do you experience any discomfort or unusual symptoms? If you experience dizziness, fatigue, or lightheadedness, it's a clear sign that fasted exercise might not be suitable for you. These symptoms indicate that your body may need more fuel to perform effectively. Consider your fitness goals and the type of exercise you engage in. Are you aiming for endurance, strength, or overall fitness? Your goals will influence your nutritional needs. If you're focused on low-intensity cardio and find that fasted workouts suit you, incorporate them strategically. This can help in burning fat more efficiently and improving metabolic flexibility. However, if you're engaging in high-intensity training or strength training, fueling your body adequately beforehand is crucial for optimal performance and muscle preservation. Proper nutrition ensures that you have the energy and stamina needed to complete your workouts effectively and recover well afterward. Ultimately, finding what works best for you involves a combination of self-awareness, experimentation, and sometimes consulting with fitness professionals. Track your progress, make adjustments as needed, and remember that your body's needs may change over time. Embrace the journey of discovering your personalized fitness routine. Enjoy the process, celebrate your achievements, and stay committed to your health and well-being. Section 7. Before you go, a word of caution. Before experimenting with fasted exercise, it's always advisable to consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian, especially if you have underlying health conditions. They can help you assess your individual needs, provide personalized guidance, and ensure that fasted exercise is safe and appropriate for you. Remember, health is a journey, not a race. There are no magic solutions or quick fixes. The key is to adopt a holistic approach that encompasses a balanced diet, regular exercise, and a mindful approach to listening to your body's needs. Section 8. Stay informed, stay healthy. Understanding the science behind popular fitness trends empowers us to make informed decisions about our health and well-being. I encourage you to stay curious, question assumptions, and seek credible information to support your fitness journey. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to our bodies. By staying informed and engaged, we can optimize our health and unlock our full potential. Section 9. Support the channel, empower your health journey. If you found this video insightful and want to support our mission of making credible health information accessible to everyone, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. Together, let's empower ourselves and each other to live healthier, happier lives. 
Your support helps us create more content like this and spread the word about evidence-based health practices. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me.